a woman was warned that someone else is secretly living inside your house after unsettling signs. A woman has been left on edge after hearing strange noises in her house. While the woman says she does not believe in the paranormal, she cannot help but feel that her home could be haunted. From objects moving around to creaking noises, the woman has noticed a number of unexplainable happenings in her detached house over the years. Meanwhile, her husband has admitted to hearing things but refuses to speak about it, yet he sends their dog to scout the rooms before entering the house. The woman took uh, to uh, Mum's Net to ask users of their thoughts, reports Edinburgh Live in Scotland. She wrote, I'm not into the paranormal, but I'm getting freaked out in my house. We've lived here 10 years. The house is only 20 years old. It's built on marshland. A year or so after we moved in, Weird things started happening, stuff moved around, noises, dog going nuts in certain rooms, doors opening by themselves, etc. Obviously, this is uh, poltergeist activity. Now, DH, dear husband, got freaked out by it and started getting angry at me every time I mentioned it. He outright refused to discuss it, but admitted he had seen and heard the same stuff as me. Then it all stopped. Nothing happened for years. All good. Then, a couple of weeks ago, I was messing on my phone, and behind me I saw a shadow go past in the hallway out of the corner of my eye. I heard it brush along the wall. The dog, different dog, flew over me, barked, barking, growling, uh, all heckles raised. Back door was locked. There was no way anyone could have got in without me or the dog hearing the front door. She went on to explain how she is getting more paranoid. She says, I sent the dog around the whole house, nothing at all. I put it on the back of my mind, but ever since the noises have started up again, footsteps on the first floor, doors opening and closing, muffled voices of people. DH, that is her husband, has heard it too and is laughing it off, saying the ghost is back, but he too is randomly sending the dog into rooms and upstairs before him, telling me not to be stupid when I mention it. It seriously started to freak me out, she says. She said it happened again 10 minutes ago, the sound of the floorboards creaking upstairs in the pattern of footsteps. DH looked up and muted the TV, then the sound of something being moved. I said, you're not telling me you didn't hear that. And he said, I'm not getting into this SHIT again, and turned up the TV. It's a detached house and we don't have neighbors, so what is going on? What is this? She said. One commentator reasonably argued if it's a house built on marsh, the marshland, could be, it be something like subsidence of the house? That could account for all sorts of things. Well, it can't account for footsteps or muffled noises and voices of people, that's for sure. Now, along, uh, 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 although others propose something a little darker, saying, you say you lived here 10 years and the house is 20 years old. Have you checked all rooms, attics, basement, garage to make sure previous occupants definitely left? The second said, I hate to break it to you, but someone is living in your house and alive someone. The simple comment, okay, I'd move or burn it down, another one said. Another person piled up, I think I'd get a priest to do a blessing of the house. Whatever it is they do to get rid of the ghosts, not sure I believe in all that, but it is worth a try. Perhaps, yes, I agree with that. There are special prayers to exercise the homes. And uh, in Christian Orthodoxy, they have a special prayer they do with blessing of the house using holy water that they uh, do at the house. And uh, this takes about half an hour. Uh, there have been reports of various houses in the UK being... Uh, haunted or even demonic entities being there and poltergeist activity and that has stopped after this um, type of a prayer. Now uh, someone else suggested you need to stop talking about it and try to ignore it. You're giving it energy which makes it stronger. No, that's not so. It's uh, they are there and they're trying to intimidate you and bother you and make you fear. So there are energies and there are prayers that uh, get rid of this. Now, looking for a logic explanation, one commented, rats, pigeons, squirrels, I was once sitting in the living room, pigeon flew out of my fireplace. Okay, well, that happens. Birds do come in if you have openings in your house. This is by Katie Williams, Ashley Summerfield on Express UK. But um, 
when I asked my father confessor about this going on, because my grand, my uh, goddaughter lives in the UK and they bought a house at a very good price, it turned out to be haunted and poltergeist activity there. And I asked my father confessor, I said, my goddaughter has bought this type of house and they have terrible uh, activities going on. And uh, I said, why does that happen to so many UK houses? And he said, well, maybe it's because they had performed uh, black magic or whatever. And that brings them these demonic entities there. And you have to have a house, uh, holy water prayer to exercise the house. Um, now, there are different prayers for different activities that went on at the house. You can have a regular normal holy water blessing of the house but i asked one of my priests i said what type of prayer she said there's various types of prayers if for example in the area uh where the house is you had you uh, had past had a war or a battle or some kind of a conflict uh that there's a special prayer for that uh if a person has uh had an accident or there was a break-in in the house and uh blood was spilled there's a, a different um Prayer for that. So, you know, things could have happened there. You don't even know. Okay, so I'll please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. And I'll leave a link below for you for this. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily. And they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support. And that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.